In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the calculator to answer math questions on the ACT exam. So in this problem it says, for what value of x is the equation 2 times the quantity x minus 12 plus x equal to 36 true? Okay, so we need to figure out what the x value is. I could solve this algebraically by isolating the x, but I want to show you how to do it just using the calculator. So I'm using a TI-83. The TI-84 is pretty much the same. All right, so I'm going to go to y equals. So I'm just going to put in the equation, two parentheses, x minus 12, close parentheses, plus x. Now for x, I'm using the button that says has an X in it, a T, theta, and N. So I'm using that button. Okay, so after you have that equation in there, I'm going to do second graph. Okay, so that's going to give you a table of values, X and Y1. All right, so in my y1, I want to find 36. Scroll down there, and what's the corresponding x value? It says 20. Okay. All right, so our x value of 20 gives you 36 for the equation. So our answer is D. All right, so this one says when x equals 1 half, what is the value of 8x minus 3 divided by x? Okay, so again, I'm just going to use the calculator. I'm going to replace the x with 1 half. Okay, so remember when you have a fraction, top and bottom, I want to put those separately in parentheses. Okay, so I'm going to put parentheses, 8. Now for 1 half, I know that's 0.5 right away, so that's going to be a little bit easier. So I'm going to do 8 times 0.5 minus 3, close parentheses, divided by now, since I just have one item on the bottom, I don't need parentheses, so I'm just going to do 0.5. Okay, so I press enter. That's going to give me 2. All right, so answer choice B. All right, this one says 2 thirds minus 5 six times the quantity 2 fifths plus 1 tenth is equal to what? Okay, so these are all fractions. I can just type this in my calculator. So I'm going to put 2 divided by 3. I'm going to do 5 divided by 6. Open parentheses. 2 divided by 5 plus 1 divided by 10. And close parentheses. And enter. I get 0.25. Okay, so if you already know, that's already 1 fourth. Otherwise, you can go to math. It's like the first choice where it says frac, which is basically converted to a fraction. If you do that, math, number one, enter, enter again, and it gives you as a fraction one over four. And this one says, what is the value of the expression absolute value of negative three minus two squared plus negative one to the third power divided by 16 divided by 4 times 2 minus 5. So again, when we have a fraction, I want to put the top in its own set of parentheses and the bottom in its own set. Okay, so things to know on the TI-8384, the absolute value, if you go to math, and over to NUM number, that first choice there is ABS, that's absolute value. All right, so first I'm going to do parentheses. I'm going to get the absolute value. And negative 3 minus 2, close parentheses. You can do the square button or caret 2. And then plus parentheses, negative 1, close parentheses, caret 3 to the third power. Close parentheses. I'm going to do divide. And then I'm going to do you know, the bottom part here, so parentheses, 
16 divided by 4 times 2 minus 5, close parentheses, and then enter, and that's going to give me 8. Okay, so here we introduce something new, absolute value, and you should be already familiar with the square button and raising something to the third power. So you get your square button. Otherwise, you need to use the caret and then the number after it. This one says, what fraction lies halfway between two thirds and three fourths? Okay, so halfway, you basically need to add these together and divide by two. So again, I'm just gonna do it purely on the calculator. So I'm gonna type in open parentheses, two divided by three plus three divided by four, close parentheses, and then divide by two. Okay, so it's gonna give you a decimal and the three is repeating, but we need this in fraction form. So remember we go to math, and our first choice for fraction, converts it to a fraction. That's gonna give me 17 over 24. So answer choice E. And this one says in scientific notation, 670 million plus 700 million is what in scientific notation? Okay, so for this one, I'm gonna change my calculator to scientific notation mode. So I'll go to mode, and you'll see along the top, normal, psi, and ENG, engineering. So SCI is for scientific notation, so I'll move my cursor over there. So now it's blinking over there, press enter. So now it's selected. And then go back to the main screen, second mode. I'm going to type in my numbers, 670, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000. Add those together. And now it gives me the number in scientific notation, 1.37E9. Now that E9 is the same as 1.37 times 10 to the ninth power, just another way of writing it. Okay, so our answer choice would be, the correct one would be D. All right, so this one says an investor has $12,000 to split between two accounts. One pays 8% interest and the other 12% interest. The $1,240 of interest is earned in the first year, how much was put in the 12% interest account? So normally this would be a system of equations that you need to solve x plus y equals 12,000, where x is the amount of money in the first account, y is the amount of money in the second account. And the second equation would be 0.08x, that's the interest earned on the first account, and 0.12y, interest earned on the second account, equals the total interest earned. Okay, so instead of solving this by substitution, we're going to create two matrices and solve this using matrix operations. So our first matrix is going to be coefficients on the left side, 1, 1, 0 0.08, and 0 0.12. And the other one is going to be the 12,000 and the 1240. All right, so this is going to be in matrix A, and we'll put the other one in matrix B. Okay, so we look at the matrix button. You got to do second, and the button that has the X to negative 1. We see matrix right above it. Okay, so second matrix. And go over to edit. You want to edit matrix A. This is a two by two matrix, two rows, two columns. So two, enter, two, enter. I'm going to type in one, enter, one, enter, 0 0.08, enter, 0 0.12, enter. 
Okay, so it should look like that. We will have on the screen. I'm going to do second mode to quit. And go back into second matrix. Over to edit. And I'm going to edit matrix B. Okay, so that's a two by one, two rows, one column. So two, enter one for the size. I'm going to put in 12,000, enter, and then 1240, enter. I'm going to do second mode to quit to go back to the main screen. Now I'm going to go back into matrix. Okay, you're going to be under names. We're going to choose matrix A. Okay, so now you have A on your screen. Okay, now you want to do to the negative one power. So that's the same button as the matrix, but don't press second first. Just do X minus one. Okay. Now back into second matrix, I'm going to choose matrix B. Okay, so that's going to be right next to it. That's going to be multiplying those two together. Okay, you press enter, get your result matrix, you get 5,000 and 7,000. Okay, so your X is going to be the 5,000, your Y is going to be the 7,000. So we wanted to know the amount in the 12% account, so that's our Y, so it's going to be 7,000. So answer C. And this one says, in the complex numbers where I squared equals negative 1, 3 minus I divided by negative 2 plus I is equal to what? Now, believe it or not, you can do this one even on your TI-8384 calculator. Now, the first thing you need to do is go to mode. And we're going to put this into complex number mode. So if you go down towards the bottom, we see a row that says real A plus BI. I want to go over to A plus BI, select that one, press enter. So now you select it. Now you're in the complex mode. Now you do second mode to go back to the main screen. So what I'm going to do here is do parenthesis 3 minus I. And get to the I, you need to do second and a decimal point that will give you the I then close parenthesis divided by open parenthesis negative 2 negative 2 plus I and then press enter and okay, then it's going to show you negative 1.4 minus 0.2 I but if you look at their answer choices they're in you know a fraction form not decimal so here we're going to press math and choose option one to convert it to a fraction. Then you end up with negative seven over five minus one over five I. And that's answer choice D. So we didn't have to multiply the top and bottom by the complex conjugate. We just plug it into a calculator and give us the answer right away. This one says, given matrix A and B, find 2A minus B. All right, so on the TI-8384, you can do matrices. That can be found by doing second, and then the X to the negative one power button. Okay, so above that is matrix. All right, so for this one, you're going to do second matrix. Go over to edit. We're going to edit matrix A. So we'll select A, press enter. We're going to make it a two by two matrix, two rows, two columns. You're going to type in your numbers, two, then enter, eight, then enter, three, then enter, and six, then enter. Then you can quit second mode. Go back into matrix, second matrix. Edit. You're going to edit matrix B now. Again, a two by two matrix. Put our numbers negative two, enter, three, enter, nine, enter, then two, enter. Then you quit second mode. Now I'm going to type in just two on the screen. Then you want to go to second matrix. The first one is name, so you're going to choose matrix A. I'll put that on the screen, matrix A. 
and then a minus sign. Then go back to second matrix and choose matrix B. All right, and then press enter. Then the result is a matrix. 6, 13, negative 3, and 10. All right, so any kind of matrix operation, you can input your matrices and then type in your operation. 2, matrix A means 2 times matrix A, and then subtract matrix B. This one says, what is the determinant of matrix A? Again, we're going to use the TI 8384 calculator. You can go to second matrix. You can do edit you can input this matrix, two by two matrix, enter in two, enter, eight, enter, three, enter, and then six, enter. Then go back to second mode, go back to main screen. You can go back into matrix, second matrix, or to math. So under math, choice one is DT for determinant. You're going to choose that. Then go back to second matrix and choose matrix A. Close parentheses and press enter. So on the screen you'll have DET, parentheses, matrix A. And you get negative 12 for the answer. So the determinant of this matrix is negative 12.